uh, came to me as a suggestion on YouTube, a very good suggestion. Um, I have several flicking videos and now a few slow motion flicking videos out. Flicking is the way that I knit. I hold the working yarn in my right hand, but I have um, a way of just flicking the yarn around the needle without ever letting go of the right needle, which does increase speed a bit and it's kind of an economy of movement. Um, I, I will definitely put a link, if you click the little eye in the upper right hand corner, to my flicking videos. I'll also put a link in the video description field below. And this one, the suggestion was flicking in um, when you're alternating knits and purls, like in ribbing or, and I've, I, my sample has seed stitch here as well, because the flicking action not only winds the yarn around the needle, but can also pull the yarn forward and backward. I couldn't believe I didn't think of it myself. Thank you so much for the suggestions. I always do what I can to get those videos out. Um, okay, well, I'm ready to show you how this goes. So let's go slow-mo. Okay, you see my sample here. It is part ribbing and part seed stitch and they worked exactly the same way in this case because it's one by one rib. Pardon the band-aid on my thumb, please. Okay, I let go of the needle for that first stitch, but from here on out, I'll keep my hands on the right needle. Flick forward. To purl the stitch, because we want the working yarn in front for a purl stitch, of course. And then the same flicking motion to pull the yarn back for a knit stitch. Forward again to purl. And then back to knit. And you'll see that the, the action of pulling the stitch off the needle and flicking forward or back is kind of all the same, same movement. So I'm pulling that stitch through and then as I'm pulling that stitch off the needle, I'm flicking forward to work the next purl stitch. And that stitch decided to jump off the needle. But you know me, I never do a take two. If I make a mistake, I fix it on camera so you can see. Pick that stitch back up. Now I'm ready to purl it. And as I pull that stitch off, I'm getting myself ready to yarn back to work the knit stitch. And this is one by one rib and seed stitch. I'm still on the ribbing here. Um, and I'm just alternating knits and purls. The ribbing is created when you line up knit and purl stitches. And the seed stitch is created when you alternate knit and purl stitches. I'll give a link in the video description field to um, my video on reading your knitting. So when you're working rib or seed stitch, and if you get confused about what stitch is supposed to come next, you can just look at your knitting and it will tell you. You do have to know whether you're working rib or knitting, <laughs> but it'll tell you how to maintain those two. Purl, stitch off, yarn back. I'm also pivoting the needle bit to get the yarn back for the, um, the knit stitch. I learned something about the movements involved when I watched this in slow motion. It's really the same motion used to 
wrap the stitch or to wrap the needle. as yarning and forwarding back. Just about to the end here. Purl, yarn back. Oh. Full speed. There we go. That's it. I hope that helps. Good luck.